sometimes a woman can talk her out of a relationship. You can talk. We we do that. Yes, we will talk. I, I, our I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say something, and this mm-hmm. might ruffle little feathers. I don't think just being a good man is enough. <laughs> To be to stay in okay. a relationship with them. But when I say a good man, I mean like he's I don't, good like, all that means all around. That means himself, spiritually, mentally, physically. That's great. Healthy, like but he's a good man. That that's doesn't good. mean that he's the man for you. And right. maybe when you're going through these motions of getting to know him, you're realizing, okay, he's a great person, but honestly, he don't he, I don't fuck with his humor. Like he could be funny, but and he's that's not funny. What, and that's me. why a lot of modern or, women are getting forty with 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 four cats and no f-ing man because he's, maybe that's he's a like. good he's a good man, but because he's not I funny, like between you gotta like, you gotta throw that out. I expect a lot of the dudes that just saw this video to disagree with what she's saying. But before you disagree, right? I want you to ask yourself a question. When was the last time you held a f- a lady accountable for her personality because I feel as though as men we overlook certain things because the lady might look good her pussy might be good her ass might be fat so we willing to overlook the fact that she got a personality like a brick you go to a little get together and it's an attractive female in there and she making bad jokes that's not funny but all the dudes in there laughing to make her feel comfortable when is the last time you tried to not make a motherfucker feel comfortable as men we overlook a lot of things and then when we see videos like this where women are just saying like hey you know he he's a great guy but like he just not the guy for me it can be the same for you my brother she can be a great girl but not the girl for you when you out here dating and shit bro it's a job interview bro ask the right questions pay attention because this is supposed to be a lifelong commitment and why would you settle king I want to say is don't look at this video and get upset and feel as though like, oh, nut, this is why we can't trust these three or fours. Don't don't look at it like that. Look at it like, you know what? She's saying that she don't want to settle because this person didn't complete all her boxes. And my brother, that means that you as a man shouldn't settle neither. That's how I take that. The way I get mad at her, think about it, bro. It's a lot of dudes out here who lame as hell. They got money. They can take care of a female, but they lame. Before you get mad at her and what she's saying, think about the lamest nigga you know that got money that could take care of a female, that could pay all the bills and do all that. You wouldn't hang out with him because he's a lame. Y'all don't connect. Man, you can't have the same type of conversations. There's a lot of dudes out here like that. And that's what she talking about. She's not talking about you. She's talking about that lame-ass nigga that you know he's lame, but he getting money. What's your biggest secret? I slept with my teacher. Honey, no! What's your deepest secret? Back in ninth grade, I went to the computer lab and I changed everybody's grades during a fire drill. <laughs> no way! Yo, that's... What's your deepest secret? I kissed my best friend's dad. Bro, no! What's your biggest secret? Yo, first off, if I had my eyes closed, that last guy, he sounded like a female, bro. I would have thought that was a girl. But damn, you slept with your, your, you kissed your best friend's dad. First shorty slept with her teacher. I ain't gonna lie, man. It's a lot of adults taking taking advantage of um, of kids out here. It's a lot of adults taking advantage of kids out here. I'm just throwing that out there. As a grown man, I don't see how you can look at a little 15, 16 year old and get turned on. If that young lady or young man still look like they probably was looking at Paw Patrol five years ago, you nasty. What's one thing you believe doesn't get talked about enough when it comes on the modern day? The way a woman should like be submissive to her man or be feminine. Like I feel like a lot of women are so stuck in like oh feminism and feminist and like we gotta be feminist and this and this and this. I feel like they should understand like it's not all about being a feminist. Like if you want what you want from your man, you gotta understand like you have to do what he said. Not really do what he says, but like do what he says, understanding where he's coming from, because what he's doing is gonna benefit you at the end of the day. It's not really gonna take you away from being benefited. So like gender roles essentially. Yeah. What's one thing you I don't know why I feel as I've seen this video before, but she's actually pretty beautiful. She's beautiful. 
Um, but what she's saying is right. I I don't quite understand how women and men are taking advice from people on the internet who are not in relationships. Most of these feminists and women who just push feminism are single. Like, how are you taking relationship advice from people that who are single? I just don't get it. Like, if you come on my channel, every once in a while you see my wife, a lot of the things I say, a lot of the relationship advice I give, I'm not always the hero in the story. And a lot of these people's stories, they're the hero. It's been some that me and my wife went through that... I'm going to admit, I, I did some simple... Looking back on it now, I'll be like, damn, bro, like, I really did some sim shit. But where we are right now, in some point, I'm like, damn, maybe it was worth it. I have a beautiful son. I have a beautiful family. I have a wife who encourages me. And at times when, when the devil is creeping up my shoulder, my wife know the right things to say to keep me from crashing out. So maybe, you know, ignoring that goofy shit, she ain't cheat on me or nothing like that, because if she had cheated on me, then it would have been a rap. But... Maybe ignoring some of that, you know, maybe not moving solely on pride was a good thing. Maybe it did benefit me. What do you think the issue is with modern dating? I think there's a few issues. So I'm 30 years old. So is Nicole. Nicole's 30. <laughs> I am single. Nicole married. I think that social media is going to be the detriment of dating for Fair. now, but for the future as well. It's too much choices. We have a a scarcity mindset right now, but then we also, I don't know, we always have this idea that there's someone Something else better. out there because it's so easy to find with a swipe or, I don't know, a DM or something like that, so. I agree with you, again, we're married, but so it, it came easy to her, yeah. <laughs> but I feel like the mindset is you want the best out there, so you want to explore all your options and make that, that educated decision that this is the best. What do you think? Social media makes it easier for your woman to find everything that you're not doing correctly because it's always somebody on there that she can compare you with. And that's why I think social media is very dangerous to relationships. Another reason why I think social media is very dangerous to relationships is that, um, especially on Instagram and Facebook, because Facebook started it off before Instagram, these social media platforms give men too much access to your woman. I've always said this. Social media give men too much access to your woman. You know what I mean? Your girl might... She might not even be posting it for that type of attention. She might post a picture of y'all on a date. And a dude might just seen some skin. He might just see some cleavage. It might. She might not even been trying to show cleavage. He might have just seen something. Oh, the dress hugging her ass kind of right. Ooh. Yeah, she got a man, but let me go ahead and holler. And now, he and your girl DMs. Social media gives you too much access to other people's lives also. And your girl might follow her favorite movie star or her favorite uh, real estate entrepreneur. And this nigga done invested in all these this this all this real estate and he has all this money and he's taking his wife out here and he's taking his wife out there and he's doing this and he's doing that. And your wife is looking at this. He might, she might be following him or she might be following his wife, right? Your wife might be following a particular female. Let's, 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 let's bring it back. Your wife might be following a particular female, right? A particular influencer. And the reason why she has, she's able to do whatever she's doing is because her husband is some type of business mogul. He might be a, a real estate investor or something like that. And now he has access to all this money, which grants his wife all this freedom that she can do whatever the hell she want to do. Or your girl is sitting back and looking at all this and saying, well, why the hell I can't do that? I want to do this. I want to just get up in the morning and say, oh, I want to go to Dubai. Oh, I want, you know, I want all this freedom. I want to do this. I want access to this. And she's like, well, why does she have access to this? Oh, her husband. Her husband does this. And her husband does that. And her husband does this. And now she's looking at you. My man can't do none of this for me. My man can't provide none of this for me. Yeah. 
it's very hard to have a successful relationship because social media has too much influence on the way we think. It gives us too much access into other people's lives. And also, it gives us too much access to other people that are in relationships. Yeah. Why? Why can't I have that half? Okay, here. But why did you want to give me that to begin with? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's but literally why, the same thing with cut in half. But why didn't you want to give me that one first? I don't care which one you want. Here, you want this one? Take it. No, I want that one now. Blaze! What's going on now? It's the same fucking thing. Never mind. I don't want anything. Yeah. Hey. This sums up being in a relationship. This sums it up. Now, this is petty. But this sums up being in a relationship. You come up with a solution. And then your wife will try to find a problem. In the solution. Damn. I gotta send her this video. <laughs> I gotta send her this video, dog.